Uh, good morning. Thank you to Stead Train for the funds to help us uh, build our robotics program. And uh, next slide, please. And I'm pleased to be here this morning. Uh, so we've uh, had pretty good results, I think, under the circumstances. Uh, we have 15 new members now in a robot club, uh, and nine of those were interested enough in robotics that we uh, started in the first uh, tech challenge this year. Uh, six of our members uh, are planning to uh, take computer science classes. Uh, one of the biggest problems that I faced is that the students were uh, so eager to build robots uh, that it was hard to get them to uh, slow down and follow the steps and think about what they were doing. Uh, so I, I basically let them uh, I gave them their head and let them let them do what they wanted to do, and they actually uh, figured out how to assemble the chassis. Uh, and then, when things didn't work, we went back and uh, started taking things apart and looked looking at some of the intermediate uh, steps. Uh, these uh, chassis that we bought, and I, I think there's a picture or two in the next uh, couple of slides. Uh, are oh, there's one right there. Uh, so the the top left uh, picture there is a Bobot. It's a made by Parallax Corporation. Uh, we had well, it, it's two components. The, the there's an electronics breadboard with a microprocessor on the top. That's the smart board, uh, and then uh, below that. Uh, is the chassis for the robot, and what you don't see uh, under the chassis there is a couple of uh, servo motors. Uh, so we had the uh, stamp boards, we needed the chassis, and uh, we used the chassis to teach uh, basic uh, mechanical assembly and, and electronics and, and troubleshooting and such. Uh, and I will be disassembling those uh, every summer, and we'll uh, we'll start over. Again, next year, if you could go back a slide, then we're back where we were. Okay, so uh, I think uh, <laughs> one forward. Robots are, uh, I think, a great way of, of teaching uh, the engineering cycle to students, uh, teaching them electronics. Uh, mechanical assembly and, uh, and programming. So actually, these uh, these Bobots require uh, Python programming. They have a uh, uh, they have a uh, interface, a web interface uh, that you can program them using Python. Uh, so it it really is the whole package when it comes to uh, teaching kids. Uh, how to do engineering and how to do STEM. Uh, I didn't do any formal uh, professional development myself, but I have done a, uh, a great deal of research into uh, entry-level robotics kinds of systems, and, and uh, we had done best at uh, our school a couple of years ago. Uh, but we're really too small uh, to field all the different teams that you need for a best uh, competition. Uh, so I settled on on first. Actually, one of our parents came to me uh, with the idea, and I like uh, I like first. Uh, I like the tech challenge. Uh, it's uh, of a size that you know small school can compete uh, both financially and, and with uh, the number of students that you have to have. Uh, we didn't uh, actually, well, 
season's not over yet. Season will be over in a few weeks. I don't know if we're going to get to compete. Uh, I didn't. We had another funding source uh, that we used for the first robots, and, and that didn't come through until late in the year. So I, I don't know. We do have a working robot at this point, uh, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to compete with it. Next slide, please. All right, so there, uh, there again is the uh, the Bobot. It's a smart board which we had, uh, and the chassis uh, which Stead Train bought for us. Thank you very much. Uh, I think it's a good platform to teach students that have no idea uh, how to build things or how to assemble things. Uh, now we we are in, uh, we have an ag program at our school and, and students get a lot of hands-on uh, training on how to build tools, but not everybody goes into the ag program. So it's a it is a great way uh, of teaching kids how to use screwdrivers and wrenches, and soldering irons and strip wires and all those kinds of things. Uh, and then once they've learned that uh, the the picture to the right of the Bobot is actually the uh, the computer interface. So there's a you can't really make it out on the picture, but there's a micro USB cable that plugs into the smart board and then it plugs into a laptop. Uh, and they can uh, they use Python to program the Bobot, and it's it's pretty simple. Uh, there's just uh, the kit that we have, there's the two servo motors. So with relatively few commands, uh, they can teach it to or train it or program it to move forward or backwards or spin around uh, pretty easily. And I found that it, it helps a lot with uh, kids that have this predisposition that I don't know how to do that, I can't do that. And, uh, you show them that it's fairly simple to do and they get over that and then they're ready to move on to other things. Uh, as, I've, as I've said, students building these Bobots learn uh, a lot of skills, uh, uh, manual skills about assembling things, but also uh, math and engineering skills. You know, they got to measure things, they got to measure voltages, uh, they got to understand what voltage is. So we had uh, we had pretty good success there, and then uh, on the bottom right there uh, is the robot club. Uh, we've got uh, 15 members that uh, generally show up to every meeting, and we're uh, we're meeting twice a week now because it's the uh, because of the competitive robot team. Uh, so in that picture there, those some of those kids are on the competitive robot team. Uh, some of those kids are working with uh, the Bobots. Uh, a couple of those kids, they're just uh, they come in and they they write Java programs because they wanted to learn Java. Uh, and a few more are uh, working with a Raspberry Pi device, which is a, kind of a cool thing. So all the uh, all the students, uh, and those are mostly middle school students, uh, come uh, to the Robot Club to learn these kinds of things. Uh, so the Bobot's sort of been what we use to teach inter introductory robotics and introductory programming uh, to students and then they they have these other paths that they can take uh, depending on what their interests are. Next slide please. Uh, so we're uh, uh, our one of our goals was to, to monitor over the next three years uh, to see if there's any increased interest in STEM subjects. Uh, we're looking for improved attendance and improved grades. Uh, these kids were all uh, uh, seventh, eighth, and ninth graders, uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing them in uh, high school in a, in a few years. And I'm looking forward to seeing how many uh, science electives uh, that they'll uh, be interested in. But 
the big thing is getting them pumped up and excited about science. You know, if, if they, uh, you know, if they don't have the curiosity, uh, it's really hard to teach them. It's harder to teach them. Uh, and so far, we have six students that have said that they're going to sign up for uh, the computer science classes that uh, we are now required by the legislature to offer. Uh, so that, that's a really good thing. Another one of our goals was to see uh, if our students could progress beyond the simple bobots into uh, more sophisticated designs, more complicated designs. Uh, and after uh, working with bobots for a while, uh, uh, they learned enough and they, they gained enough interest that uh, we had nine students that wanted to go on to competitive robot building. Uh, and as I've said, we joined the uh, uh, the first tech challenge, and uh, I think we bought the uh, uh, R, R Tech kit, I think was the name of the kit that we bought. Uh, so it, it's a nice, again, I'll, I'll say it's a nice level competition for a small school. Uh, there's not, uh, you know, we don't have to have a marketing team and all these other teams to make things work. And uh, the games change every year, but you can re repurpose uh, a lot of the equipment that you have for robots. Uh, a third of our goals was to uh, evaluate uh, our program outcome based on participation in competitions. Uh, so as, as I said earlier, the, the money that the funding that we were going to, the funding that we obtained uh, to purchase the competitive robots was delayed by all the stuff that's been going on, of course. I will say that, uh, that, that Stead Train was Johnny on the spot with a check, so thank you so much for that. Uh, so we didn't quite get there. I mean, we, we have a couple of weeks left to, to try to get into a first competition. But we'll see how that goes. All in all, uh, we took 15 kids that uh, thought they had an interest in robots and, and turned them into uh, students who can actually do some programming and build things and program things. And, and uh, it's been really great. And uh, the C grant we got from Stead Train was exactly what we needed to make that happen. So thank you very much.